Hi, I'm Lisa, your rock and roll realtor, and welcome to part three of my series of trying to find my buyers a home. Now, it shouldn't be that difficult, right? You would think, but there are way less houses on the market than there are buyers looking to buy them. Therefore, there are multiple bids on every single property. And this is particularly true in properties that are under a million dollars. So my clients have a budget and it's under a million and therefore they have been outbid multiple times as you will see in my series in parts one and parts two. Now in part two, I left you with, they had put in an offer on a property in Sunland and we were waiting for the results. And in the meantime, we went and saw another property in Pasadena just in case we got outbid on the Sunland property. Well, guess what? We got outbid on the Sunland property and then we got outbid on the Pasadena property. So here we are at part three, making an offer on another house in Alhambra. Now this one, actually, we have had a counter offer come through, which means that they are in theory accepting our offer, but they have a couple of extra conditions that they would like us to sign off on. We have countered them with another counter saying we agree to those. However, here's a couple more things that we would like on that. So we are waiting for them to sign our counter. It's very close. It's looking very good. Everything has kind of been agreed upon essentially. So we are at that stage now, fingers crossed, where we are waiting for the final acceptance and escrow to open. So stick with me here. I'm going to show you the steps because hopefully we are gonna open escrow. So you're gonna see on this video what the next steps are once escrow is open. I can't believe it. They accepted our counter offer. So we have opened escrow, we are so excited. So now the steps that we have to take are getting an inspection. And um, so let's get started with that. Okay, go for it. Okay, That's Craig Glosser with Home Inspection Experts and I approve the recording of this message. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you actually have to do that. You actually have to do that. All right, All right. okay. I'm so, okay with being captured. There we go, yeah. perfect. So, the house is in really good shape, guys, okay? Everything is of a home that is 100 years old, right? Windows, some have been upgraded, some are in single pane, still operable, all in, in uh, pretty good shape. Um, nothing too concerning. I did see a couple windows that I'm going to be noting as outdated because uh, they will present a draft which is not energy efficient, okay? We call out stuff like that, okay? Because it puts strain on your AEC, it puts strain on your heater. All right. The inspection came out pretty good. There weren't that many things wrong with the property. A little bit of wear and tear because of the age, but nothing that was too scary. So now it's time to get all the disclosures and look them over. The disclosures are all the paperwork that are signed by the seller tell you specifically if there are any issues with the property that they know about and if there's anything like the natural hazard dis um, disclosures and if it's in a fire zone, if it's in a flood zone, that kind of thing. So we're gonna go over all those documents. There's gonna be lots of pages to go through and uh, we're gonna sign off on those if everything is okay. Now that we've gone through all the disclosures, I now have to do what's called an AVID, A-V-I-D, Agent Visual Inspection Disclosure. So now, even though we've already had an inspection, I have to go through and make notes, bedroom, bathroom, floor, kitchen. Like, is, is there any scratches on the door? Is there any holes in the wall? Maybe there was like a TV that was put up there before and the brackets caused a hole. Like, I have to go through and mark everything that I see to make the buyer and sellers aware that both the buyer and seller has to, has to sign my AVID. Also, the selling agent, the person who is representing the seller has to do the same, the listing agent has to do the same thing. So I'm gonna do my AVID now and here are some pictures that I've taken from my AVID. Now that the AVID is done, we are waiting for the appraiser to appraise the property to verify that it is worth funding. So um, the lender can then sign off. And uh, once the lender signs off, then we're ready to close escrow. And lastly, we have to do what's called a VP, a verification of property. And that basically means 
that you need the property to look the same as it did at close of escrow as it did when we first made the offer. So in other words, say a seller actually makes a hole in the wall as they're moving out furniture, then the property is not in the same condition and therefore you can actually protest and not sign and have them fix it or you can pull out if you wanted to. Obviously, we don't want to do that. So um, we are gonna do a VP. So uh, come with me while we do that. So today is the verification of property, otherwise known as the VP form, which I got right here. And all this is, is you go in and you make sure that the house is in the same condition it was in when you made the offer. So in other words, nothing's missing, nothing's broken, there's no holes in the walls or the floors or anything like that. So it's just to verify it looks as it did. Let's go have a look. We're all done with the walkthrough and I'll be able to fill out my VP form now. And uh, that was the last step that I needed to do. There's a few more forms that my clients need to sign and that the sellers need to provide. But other than that, we're ready to close escrow. So the lender has now funded the purchase. Now, sometimes you can fund and record in the same day, but sometimes if it funds later in the day, you have to wait until the next business day to record. Now, in our case, it funded on a Friday, so we've got to wait until Monday to actually record. And what recording is, is actually transferring the name of the property into my client's name. So that is happening on Monday. We closed escrow, so now the house is officially my client's house. So I'm going to go with them and be there as they walk through as new owners of the house. I have to be there when they turn the key together for the first time. We closed escrow, we got the keys. There's Ray and Laura, the happy couple, yay! Okay, they're gonna use the key for the first time and walk in. That house better be empty, that's all I gotta say. All right, let's go check it out. Big money, no whammies. We have success. Ta-da! Yay! Oh my God, you guys! The house. There's no people. There's not like millions of family members. There's not furniture. No, it's just us. It's just you guys. What do you think? Yay! Ah, oh, all right. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video on finding a house for my buyers. And sorry, it had to be in so many different parts, but I didn't expect us to be outbid so many times, but there you have it. I guess the housing market was super hot because the interest rates were low. So, but we got there in the end. We were successful. I'm so pleased for my buyers. Now, if you are thinking of buying or selling your home, please get in touch with me. My contact details are all listed below. So please reach out. I would love to work with you. Goodbye for now.